Our programs include many languages. Please log on to our program schedule for more details. SupremeMasterTV.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes comprennent des émissions en plusieurs langues. Pour de plus amples informations, consultez SupremeMasterTV.com barre oblique schedule. Programmele noastre includ multe limbi. Vă rugăm căutați orarul programelor noastre și mai multe detalii pe suprimmastertv.com bară oblică schedule. The Prime Minister, Great Moon, was thinking to himself, Oh, if this king, if this person wants the king's head, then I'm going to make a 500 head, which is uh, done by uh, seven uh, ju jewels, precious jewels. Okay, so he went out and ordered many of the craftsmen, jewelry men to make the 500 head full of, uh, uh, you know, full with uh, uh, seven kind of uh, precious stones. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Allegri saluti, spettatori pieni di compassione. Sono Gioia da Spinete, nell'entusiasmante Italia. Il popolo dell'indimenticabile Italia si sente benedetto di essere con voi. L'Italia è una penisola che si estende in direzione sud-est nel bel mezzo del mar Mediterraneo e comprende le famose isole della Sicilia, della Sardegna, di Capri e Ischia, per menzionarne alcune. Roma, la sua leggendaria capitale, è la sede del Vaticano, uno dei luoghi più sacri della cristianità e ospita inoltre un ineguagliabile patrimonio culturale e storico. Tra le altre città principali ricche di storia ci sono Venezia, la città dei canali, Firenze con i suoi capolavori rinascimentali come il David di Michelangelo e il Duomo del Brunelleschi. Conosciuta come il luogo natale dei più grandi lavori al mondo di arte, architettura e gastronomia, questa affascinante nazione ha il numero più alto di siti patrimonio dell'umanità dell'Organizzazione delle Nazioni Unite per l'Educazione, la Scienza e la Cultura, UNESCO, rispetto a qualsiasi altro paese sulla Terra. Benedetta con un clima stagionale e mediterraneo, in gran parte temperato, l'Italia ha una straordinaria diversità naturale che va dalle Alpi innevate ai laghi glaciali, ai magici paesaggi della Maremma Toscana, alle acque campane tempestate di corallo e alle grotte turchesi. 
Gli italiani si salutano con due baci sulla guancia, fa parte della nostra appassionata ospitalità. Inoltre l'Italia è amabilmente riconosciuta dai visitatori di tutto il mondo come un paese in cui la dolce vita non finisce mai. Siamo felici di presentarvi brevemente l'ispirante Italia Spettatori di Pace. Gli affascinanti italiani vi augurano che i vostri cuori trabocchino di amore. Per oltre tre decenni, la Somma Maestra Cingai ha illuminato il nostro mondo con i suoi insegnamenti divini. In quanto maestro che ha raggiunto l'illuminazione completa, trasmette il metodo di meditazione Quan Yin a coloro che desiderano scoprire immediatamente la natura divina interiore e raggiungere in una vita la liberazione eterna dal ciclo della trasmigrazione. Il metodo Quan Yin è stato praticato da tutti i maestri illuminati, quali Buddha, Gesù Cristo, il profeta Maometto, che la pace sia con lui, Guru Nanak e molti altri. Sottolinea che se ricordiamo sempre Dio, offriamo aiuto altruista agli altri e seguiamo le leggi dell'universo, raggiungeremo il nostro più alto potenziale come umani e capiremo davvero il nostro scopo sulla Terra. La Somma Maestra Cingai è uno straordinario esempio vivente di compassione. Invia regolarmente aiuti materiali e finanziari insieme al suo amore ai rifugiati, ai senza tetto, a vittime di disastri naturali e ad altri bisognosi di soccorso. La Somma Maestra Cingai è profondamente grata all'amato Dio per l'aiuto economico, il conforto e il sostegno nei confronti degli afflitti e bisognosi e per ogni buona causa in tutti questi anni come umile strumento per la sua compassione e amore verso i suoi cari figli. Nel 2006 ha ricevuto il premio Gusi per la pace, considerato il premio Nobel per la pace dell'Oriente e ha ricevuto negli anni numerosi altri premi e riconoscimenti per le sue eccezionali azioni filantropiche e umanitarie. Vera voce per i nostri splendidi amici animali, promuove la pacifica e amorevole alimentazione a base vegetale e immagina tramite il risveglio dell'umanità alla sacralità di ogni forma di vita un tranquillo e glorioso mondo vegano dove tutti gli animali e le persone vivono in felice armonia. Le sue iniziative per diffondere la tendenza vegana sono numerose e comprendono la distribuzione dei volantini Vita Alternativa, la catena dei ristoranti vegani Loving Up, Supreme Master Television, oltre a discorsi regolari a influenti leader di governo e dei media, e alla partecipazione a conferenze televisive sul cambiamento climatico, che ne siamo consapevoli o meno. Il suo impegno ha avuto un'influenza enorme sulla consapevolezza globale sullo stile di vita rispettoso degli animali e su quanto questo modo di essere benevolo porti pace durevole fra le nazioni oltre a salvare il pianeta dal cambiamento climatico. Nel corso degli anni la Somma Maestra Cingai ha viaggiato in tutto il mondo, dall'America all'Africa, dall'Europa all'Oceania e ha tenuto centinaia di discorsi al pubblico e ai discepoli su molti argomenti spirituali. Siamo fortunati di presentarvi una di queste profonde discussioni dal titolo Storie buddiste, la vita precedente del Buddha come un re di nome Moonlight, parte 4 di 6, su Tra la Maestra e i discepoli tenuta in inglese l'8 settembre 2015 in Francia.
Uh, when I was in uh, Monaco, for example, it's supposed to be a very prosperous country, yeah, small country, and everybody is well off. It's not like they are too poor, or there's no beggar or nothing like that. It's just that somebody still has some extra need. You understand? Yeah. And so sometimes I I chip in eh, a little bit here and there, yeah. But because that country, you have no income tax, understand? So a lot of people also tax-free for many enterprises there. Therefore, the government uh, probably don't have this kind of tax income to give some extra to citizens, yeah? So other organizations, um, private, they're doing this, yeah. It's just an example, eh? but the uh, Monaco people, they, they, they are well off. They are well, mostly very well. Yeah. Ah, okay. <sighs> right. And uh, uh, when I first go, the people say, I keep asking, I want to see the monogas. They call them monogas. They want to see the real one, monogas, <laughs> what they look like. <laughs> I was curious. And, and I said, Is there any monogas working here? Can you point to me? They say, no, the monogas, they don't work. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. Most of them, maybe, yeah, has money and don't work. But some are working there. I found some. Yeah. Very nice people also. Very nice. Very polite. Yeah. Very, uh, I feel they're very simple in the heart, very pure. Kind of yeah. One of the uh, waitress I saw in Monaco, she adopted one one Vietnamese a mm. child. Yeah, oh. it's so funny, huh? <laughs> the world is small. <laughs> and uh, one of the monogas, he drove a taxi. He's a taxi driver, but he has an apartment worth uh, more than billion million dollars. I don't think he's a taxi driver. And then. <laughs> I sometimes had to rely on taxi, you know, over there. So I had a little apartment there, and whenever he come to me, he brings a special car. It's not a normal taxi, he brought his own car, the Mercedes, white and beautiful. And he said, just for you, princess. <laughs> very moving, <laughs> yeah, very nice, yeah. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're going everywhere, to Monaco even. <laughs> so, oh, we go back to to the uh, to the king who was so jealous that in daytime he couldn't sleep, in nighttime he couldn't eat. <laughs> yeah, he was thinking to himself, "Are you okay? With in- you're tired? You okay? You? Okay. You English okay? Yeah, actually, uh, cram a little, huh? Yeah, no. Stretch it out, ah, like this. Oh yeah, my also, God." We are all getting old, you know that. <laughs> yeah, massage a little bit. Cause you, you Western have long legs. Just stretch it out, my God. Anybody, stretch it out. Stretch it out. Uh, I don't care. Put on top of the uh, front person, <laughs> shoulder. Yeah, massage a little. Yeah, let's do some exercise. Oh, moving back and forth, left and right. Okay. I asked you if I should read the rest tomorrow, and you say, no, you want it now. <laughs> eh? So we stop now? No? no? So we go out and... <laughs> <laughs> you know, left, right, uh, front, back first, and then come back or not? Huh? Yeah, no, yes, no. <laughs> okay, do what I do. <laughs> Yeah, and do this, you know, a little bit. Kicking the front, not the front people. <laughs> okay, yeah. Wow, I really am impressed by your patient. Go, you sit down there, you know, on your small cushion and, you know, long hours. I told you. I don't know how many more pages, okay? I'm warning you, I don't know how many more pages. Wow, oh, it's a lot. One, two. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> and your master common in between. And I had to wait for the break when you're laughing. I wait until you finish laughing to continue. So, are you okay or tomorrow? Well, we are Who's okay? Raise hand. So don't blame me then. This is not okay, not okay. <laughs> Listen. 
who are not okay can go out. I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, really, really. <laughs> this is a democracy here, you know, we don't force you. You came here all by yourself, you sat there all by yourself, no, <laughs> nobody asked you to. All right, so let's see what the, this terrible king is scheming, you know? He is scheming something, up to no good. Okay, so he was thinking to himself, if the jealous king was thinking to himself, if I don't use some strategy to destroy this king, you know, the, the moonlight king, then my reputation, my fame will never spread anywhere, forever become a small, forever stay a small king, you know? Obedient to the great emperor. Oh, this is terrible, terrible. No, cannot, he cannot bear it. So he summoned all the Brahman men from his country to his palace. He offered them three months beautiful food, clothing, all the best treatment. I treated them like the king of the country. And then, after three months, of bribery, <laughs> I guess. Oh, he has some, uh, you know, string attached. He's not offering out of respect or anything to the Brahman caste or the Brahman uh, renunciate, but he has something. Okay, let's see what he wants. Oh, this is very, very, how uh, you say, suspend. Suspending now. <laughs> so he said to them after three months long, uh, dear, all the uh, religious uh, uh, reverence, yeah, I have one thing which worry me very, very much, day and night, that in the daytime I forgot to <laughs> to eat, <laughs> yeah, to sleep, <laughs> to eat, and day, nighttime I forgot to sleep. Uh, any of you has any... Uh, any idea, any um, any way to help me to solve this problem or not? So one of the chiefs of the Brahman group said, ah, Your Majesty, whatever worry you, please tell us. Maybe we can help, we will try our best. After eating so much, drinking so much, sleeping in good bed and having new clothes, of course, no? You die for the king, no? Sure, they should know. So the king say, mm. Hey, yo! <laughs> all your reverence, all your reverence. Uh, nowadays, the king uh, Moonlight is respected and even revered like God by everybody in every country. Uh, no, of course, that poses uh, the risk for me in the future. Yeah. Do you, any of you, has any magic power or any way to uh, destroy him? Please tell me. So the the chief of the Brahman say again, Your Majesty, the king uh, Moonlight has great merit. He is a great person, and he loves chi uh, citizens as as his own, as if his own children. And all the citizens look up to him as if uh, he is their father. How would we have the heart to even harm him in any way? Mm. We rather die, but we would have no heart to harm such a a wonderful and gentle person, eh? gentle being. And then everybody bowed down to the king and asked permission to leave. <laughs> oh, he was so mad. He's more mad now. <laughs> more jealous, more mad. He's so, so angry. His face looked like a tiger. Yeah. <laughs> and then he ordered, he put notice, announcement to everybody in his country, say, saying, if anyone can go and get the head of the king uh, Moonlight, 
then I will marry that person to my princess, to my daughter. And then I will uh, divide this country into two parts and give him half of it. Wow! Become prince and has half of the country. Wow! He must have been very, very jealous. There was a person also from Brahman clan came to uh, to the king, uh, the jealous king, and 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 say he he will go and get the the head of the moonlight king. Oh, this king now smiling for the first time. So, oh, if you can do this, I will keep my promise. Uh, when are you going? Tell me. He say, okay, in seven more days, seven more days, and then he left. When he came home, he, uh, I say, he entered a retreat for seven days. <laughs> what a retreat! <laughs> retreat. <laughs> People do retreat to improve their spiritual status and 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 you know and spirit. This guy he entered retreat to be more powerful to kill. <laughs> And he, he uh, seven days long, he concentrated on reciting a special mantra to protect himself. Yeah. After seven days, he went to the king and said he's ready to go. The king gave him food and money and clothing and whatever necessary. Yeah? And he was very determined. And he said to this jealous king, he said, Your Majesty, no more worry. I vow to you, or I swear to you. No, he make a vow, make an oath. Yeah, how do you say that? I swear to you. Yeah. I swear to you that if I don't get the head of the Moonlight King, I will not return. I guarantee, it will be done. Oh. And then he begin his journey. At that time, immediately when. He said that after he said that and be began his journey. In the country of the Moonlight King appear many uh, uh, unlucky omens, like uh, earthquake, mm, thunder in wrong season, yeah. a blitz, you know, lightning, you know, in a wrong time, wrong place, any time. And uh, many of the uh, uh, stars keep falling, yeah. And daytime, a lot of fog cover all day, and then they have a comet also, and then even rain down, uh, uh, rain down ice, yeah, yeah hailstone, and everywhere is a lot of uh, thunder and and uh, lightning, yeah. And then. Uh, many birds are crying in the sky, uh, very, very uh, uh, heartbreakingly, and then they are they are plucking their own feathers and then just fall off the 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 ground and die all over, you know, all over the earth like that. Yeah, leopard and uh, uh, wolf and etc. etc. Yeah, they just jumped into uh, into ditches and, and, and die, or crying, lamenting, very, very, very heartbreakingly. Uh, or other kings, smaller kings, yeah, are dreaming that the king's um, canopy, golden canopy, is broken, yeah. And the golden uh, drum also broken. Yeah. They dream like that. All of the smaller kings dream like that. And then his prime minister, Great Moon, dreamed that uh, the demons came and uh, snatched away the king's golden uh, golden crown. Oh, everybody saw all these bad omens and bad. Dream that so worry, worry, worry so much. At that time, there was a god who guard 
the god, you know, smaller god, yeah, a spirit, a diva, who guard the the city, the the palace. Knew, knew that uh, this uh, Brahman named Daulo Shai is coming to ask for the king's head. So when he saw this uh, Daulo Shai, the Brahman came near the city gate. He used his power <laughs> to confuse him, make him going around, around, around. He could not find the gate to come in. Yeah. But one of the gods in heaven, oh, God, again, he saw that. <laughs> he interfered all the time, this God. So he, uh, he, he entered into the king's sleep as a dream and told the king that, you, Your Majesty, is uh, doing charitable deed, but there is one person who came to ask for your charity, and he's uh, running around outside <laughs> your 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 city wall, cannot get in. So uh, the king woke up and feels surprised. So asked his prime minister, "Come in. You go out in the in the in the palace gate." And forbid anybody to stop anyone who coming who beg in for charity. Okay, so the prime minister, a great moon came out, went out to the to the um, palace gate. Hey, look around, don't see anybody. Yeah. And no, doesn't see anybody who stop anybody even. Yeah. So the uh, the god, the diva, the spirit that protect the uh, palace uh, up here, up here in a physical body. Tell him, tell the, the Prime Minister, dear Prime Minister, uh, this time, now, at the moment, there is a Brahmin person from the, another country came here. I want to ask for the king's head as a charity. Therefore, I try to stop him. So the Prime Minister said, Oh my God, if it's true like that, then it is a terrible, terrible uh, disaster. <sighs> but because the king already ordered us, we, we should not disobey him. All right. So, so the, the God <laughs> released release this uh, Brahman and let him come in, come inside the palace gate. The Prime Minister. Great Moon was thinking to himself, Oh, if this king, if this person wants the king's head, then I'm going to make uh, 500 head, which is uh, done by uh, seven uh, jew jewels, precious jewels. Okay, so he went out and ordered many of the craftsmen, jewelry men, to make the 500 head with uh, uh, seven kind of uh, precious stones. At that time, this uh, Brahman suddenly like wake up from a dream, yeah, and then he went inside the gate, not confused anymore. So he came in and very loudly talking like uh, he owned the palace, you know, very rude, saying, "I came from far away." He didn't say "Your Majesty" or you know anything. Mm. I came here from far away. I came from far away here because I know uh, you, the king, uh, is uh, exercising your uh, charitable uh, deed. Uh, anyone who asks anything from you, I came here to ask also something. But this is a very difficult thing I ask. So the king saw that this person is a kind of so, you know, rude. And uh, he was thinking to himself, this person probably want to to test me, yeah. So he was kind of happy, you know, glad. And he himself, the king himself, came out, yeah, uh, and uh, greet him, and ask him politely where he came from, and uh, how is his journey? Is he very tired? Does he need any, you know, thing to eat, to drink now?
adorabili spettatori, grazie per aver seguito il programma di oggi intitolato Storie buddiste, la vita precedente del Buddha con un re di nome Moonlight, parte 4 di 6, sotto la maestra e discepoli. Restate sintonizzati su Supreme Master Television per altri programmi positivi. A seguire, Socrate mostra ad Aristarco il rimedio alla povertà, parte 1 di 2, su parole di saggezza, subito dopo notizie degne di nota. Possa Dio benedirvi con amore eterno, saggezza e felicità. May God bless you with everlasting love, wisdom and happiness. For more details and to check out our schedule for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Pour plus d'informations et pour consulter le programme des langues disponibles, visitez suprememastertv.com bar oblique BMD et suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Pentru detalii mai multe despre programele noastre în diferite limbi, vă rugăm vizitați suprimastertv.com bară oblică b m d și suprimastertv.com bară oblică schedule.